Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I have another video on this Game Boy Color that is having issues with the volume wheel. So I have gone ahead and tested this and let me go ahead and show you real quick what the issue is. So let the game load up a little bit. I don't know you can hear, but there's issues with it once I start moving the wheel. So for this, there's really just uh, two types of solutions that I can do for this. And one of them is just to uh, clean this out and see if that fixes it, which most of the time these are just dirty and just by looking at it um, That might fix it. But if it doesn't then we're gonna go ahead and replace it with this extra piece that I have here So this is just a part that I got from console 5 um, And I'll just replace that ahead if, if that doesn't fix that So let's go ahead and open this up and let's see what's going on So here we're using a tri-wing screwdriver bit and this is a size 1 and I'm using this to remove the six screws that are located in the back Once all the screws are removed, you can just simply remove the back housing. Next, we remove the three screws and these are just Phillips and I'm using a size one just to remove these. Before removing the motherboard from the front casing, we're just gonna have to remove this ribbon cable. So we push up these lock mechanisms. And then what I like to do once I remove these is just simply uh, lift the board kind of like this, like lift it up and out this way. Actually, let me go ahead and uh, go ahead and show you again how I did that. So once they're unlocked here, we can just simply flip it like this and then we can just kind of pull it outward and it comes off pretty easily. So I like to isolate it uh, on its own. Some people might want to just put the IPA here already. Uh, but the reason why I do that is so in case any of the IPA um, a false through I don't want it to go to the front of the of the housing and probably go into the screen so we're just gonna be safe and just do it the right way all right so now we're just gonna put a little bit of IPA in here and just to let y'all know IPA is just isopropyl alcohol in case you all don't have 99% you can use 91% and above it should be pretty safe uh, the higher the concentration the less water there is so it'll evaporate a lot easier and causes less damage to the board. Okay. So really I'm just kind of putting pressure downward and spinning the wheel. And we're just trying to loosen up any of that dirt or grime that's stuck in there. This should help a little bit with some of that contact. So we're gonna put a little bit more and then test it out again. Okay, so let's just turn the wheel. All right, I think that should be good enough. I'm just gonna blow it out with some compressed air and then I'll come back right now. All right, the next step is just to simply reconnect everything back. So here we go. Just make sure we lock that in place on both sides. All right, so I put everything back together, but I'm not gonna put the screws down yet. I'm just gonna put the housing over it and just close it just so I can test it. And then just put in some batteries. And of course the game, so we can have some continuous sound and test out the potentiometer on it. Yeah, so it definitely sounds a little off still. So I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it just to get a new one on there. I don't think it should be that big of a deal. So let's go ahead and open it up again and then let's get that worked on. So here we really just gotta remove these five connections here and just be very careful in not burning these uh, uh, these pads off. So that they can be very sensitive. So the first thing we'll do is just tin it uh, with some new fresh solder. That way it's a lot easier to remove. And then what I like to do is just kind of go under with a set of tweezers and just kind of pull it up gently. I don't want to force it because if you do, then you end up risking ripping these pads and um, you have to do a different fix. So let's not do that. And in the back, you have these two joints that you got to get rid of. And so here I'm just gonna use a desoldering gun and that makes it a lot easier to get rid of these two. But if you don't, uh, you can just freshly tin these two and then use a solder wick to remove these. And so uh, in my case, I like to just kind of do it the easier way. So let's go ahead and get started on that fix.
All right, that's all the way up. See the volume wheel works. There we go. That sounds a lot better. Yep, and that seems to be fixed. All right, so we were able to repair this Game Boy Color and get it back into working condition. We we're able to restore this volume wheel. And in the process, I did rip a pad, but I did show the steps on how to fix that. Um, it just seemed to be an issue on my end. And of course, I also left the start and select button inside here uh, when I was putting everything back. But um, I really don't think that's a big issue since I go ahead and clean these Game Boys anyway before I sell them. So normally I just clean them up and then also replace the screen. But if this video was something that can help you, if you're having issues with your volume wheel, just always remember you can do one of two things, which is simply clean it with some IPA. And of course the unfortunate one is just to replace the entire potentiometer. But as you saw, there's really not much to it. Hopefully you liked today's video. And if you do, please be sure to hit that like button for all the people that have been supporting my channel. I just want to thank you. And if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe as I release content weekly. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all next time.